it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's screencast, we are going to install the Intel RealSense camera package for robot operating system on the NVIDIA Jetson TX2 development kit. Let's get to work. There are two prerequisites. The first is that we have to have LibRealSense installed. LibRealSense is the driver for the RealSense cameras. Let's check to make sure that it's installed correctly. We'll switch over to the LibRealSense examples. And we'll run our little sample here. Oh, there we are. Usual cast of characters, Mr. Fire Extinguisher, and Mako Shark Plush. Let's close this. Clear the terminal. The second prerequisite is that we have to have ROS installed. I'll leave a card and a description in the link below to an article about how to install ROS on the TX2. There is a repository on the Jetson Hacks GitHub account named Install RealSense ROS TX2. <laughs> oh my. Let's clone that repository. Grab this address. Switch over to this directory. And we're ready to install. We're going to run the install RealSense ROS script here. Let's take a look at it. There's a lot of nonsense. And then we get to the meat and potatoes here. We're going to install a ROS Kinetic Live RealSense, which is a version of the library that resides in the ROS repositories. The reason that we have to compile Live RealSense on our own is to modify the kernel modules to understand the RealSense camera formats. Then we do a ROS dev update. There is a ROS Kinetic RealSense camera package in the ROS repositories. Unfortunately, there's an issue with it that doesn't make it suitable to most of our purposes. So we compile a later version of the repository that has been fixed. This is an interesting line. Basically what it does is it goes and finds all the dependencies and loads them appropriately. And then we're going to do a capkin make on the RealSense camera package. Okay, here we go. We're going to install RealSense ROS and we're going to put it into the Jetson bot, Tatkin workspace. Installation complete. Everything past this point is optional. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's close this terminal. There are some notes here in the repository. Notes.txt. And then we will install this RQT reconfigure package, which will allow us to set camera parameters.
Okay, let's launch our camera node. Switch over to Jetson Box. Source the devil. Let's open up another terminal. Ross node list. Here are all the camera topics that are being published. Let's launch our biz. Source the devil. Here's the launch file, paste that in. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's move this around a little bit. You can see we're rather spotchy right now. Let's fix that. Let's open up another terminal. We will run our camera configurator. Camera, driver, we will enable R200LR auto exposure. <laughs> there we go. That should help things out considerably. Let's switch back to our viz. Oh, yes, that's much better. You can see you get a pretty good point cloud out of this. You can see the separation between me and the shark. Is it time for another song about pirates? It's always Time for a song about a pirate. You know that. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Du, 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 du. Over the ocean, over the waves. Sailing, sailing over the ocean waves. Bum bum. Bum bum. It's his favorite song. Bum 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 bum. Thanks for watching.